do, do. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. I'm going to adjust this really fast. I didn't realize my podcast room had been used by small children oh. to play <laughs> to play podcast. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Did they actually yes. like make any videos or anything? Uh, I'll have to check the camera roll. You should. I had no idea they were in here, but there was definitely <laughs> strange things afoot at the Circle I K when I came in today. I love, I love finding videos and stuff. Of My favorite, I'm going to insert yeah. right here, is one I found do. from Haley, where um, it's, it's like pretend to be a T-Rex or something. And I, it, I was just so happy to have found it in my, I think it was in my Snapchat <laughs> memories. Two thought day. There. Act like a D Rex. No! no! What else do you have to watch? No! No! Uh huh. I don't know when this happened, but it's one of my favorite all time videos. And I have some of those for, for each of the girls. Or even videos I took, like. I took a video of Bella taking a video of herself doing a makeup video when she was younger. Like none of them were ever posted online, but you know they they of course. they're like like and subscribe. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, it's yeah, so, it's so did, cute. Did I ever show you the one I found on an air like I was on an airplane cleaning out my camera roll because I was bored. Yeah, and I found a music video that my two youngest had made. No, that's amazing. It was it was so good. There was will, like will you send that single, to me? If it won't embarrass them, I have to ask them first. Ask them, but and like, if it doesn't, well, maybe I should ask I Haley will. too because I feel like yeah. she's gonna be okay with it because I've posted it on social media before. But you're right; I will ask her as well. We'll make yeah, sure. Yeah, my but... kids are hit and miss. Like well, sometimes they're like yes, and sometimes they're like say I'd rather not, and that's Ra okay Rachel too. has a request. Just kidding. Yeah, if they would rather not, that's fine. But uh, but I it's good. I'm sure it's, it's so good. <laughs> As the earth burns to the ground, oh, girl, it's you that I lie with. As the world, as the world, as the world caves in. I, and if even if they don't want it, like shared on the podcast, if they would let, if they would like a lesser request, just let me see it. I would really just let you see it. Oh, okay. I'm sure that's I so will. funny. Oh, it's so uh, good. I was on a plane just like dying by myself. Oh, my God. Like, it was a solo flight. Yeah. Just and that there. actually will help us segue into today's topic, which was supposed to be uh, like a book, a book club on 1984. But as I know, as I was reading it, it was like it's a for me and my mind. It's a bit of a difficult read because like I was saying, yeah. it's a. Uh, it's so triggering for thoughts that I literally distract myself and reread a page like two and three times, like being like, okay, like, you have to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I am enjoying it and we'll, we'll get Me too. to that. Yeah. I and... like it as well. So it'll be an interesting one to go through. But alas, it's not for today because. Yeah. Well, it's because not... we were like, I was telling Anthony, it's like, it's like I gave myself a book report and I'm stressed out about it. <laughs> like, but I am also the teacher. So I can just extend uh -huh. the deadline. And yeah. Yeah. So and hopefully this will not be like my English essays that I had to rewrite oh so many times. <laughs> hey, if we do, we do. Okay. Um, right. So yeah, right. uh, the topic today on our little white picket fence is basically just going to be laughing, I think, because, um, you know, like, who doesn't kind love of, laughing? <laughs> right. And with you and me, sometimes it's at the most inappropriate times because I don't know if we're just like mentally small children or yeah. like we just find humor in everything. But... Yeah, there's that too. And I also think I realized that like, while I don't feel a lot of like, embarrassment for myself doing things sometimes mm -hmm. it's like i feel like a an embarrassment for others in way. like maybe embarrassment like maybe i would be embarrassed with that because it's because i find it to be so silly but like mm -hmm. <laughs> but the laugh is never like ah oh, that person's stupid but unfortunately yeah sometimes we laugh in like when when maybe you ought not laugh when maybe you ought not to and it's like a blooper reel on a sitcom or something. Sometimes it just comes out and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah. There's just 
not a single thing. Let's let's get into a few stories instead of just just talk about describing laughing. how funny we are. Like, <laughs> I just oh my I, gosh. my favorite pastime is laughing, and I and I think you know there are a lot of worse like automatic reactions that you could have to things. So, it's true. Yeah. Um, it's so, true. The first story that I wanted to share actually happened yesterday, which is kind of what okay. got got me going on this because I I had something happen that I thought was really funny, but I was the only one laughing and then had to look back and be like, am I an asshole? And I guess in the comments, you tell me <laughs> an asshole or... Or, if, or, or I don't know, because I didn't, I didn't, there was no ill, ill. But either way, so the story is. There never is, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I had to take a CPR course. Um, and I had heard a little about the instructor, just in that, like, that she had, like, a pretty uppity, like, intensity. Like, I didn't really know how to, like, to take that, like, what that meant. Like, that there was just, they like, it was good, but it was just, like, a high intensity, like, class. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, you know. And. I think what they meant by that was just like, <laughs> I, like she was just a very energetic person. But the best part yeah. about it was that she, she like, it wasn't just like, here's the class, this is how to do it. She like was setting a scene and then acting all the parts of like said scene. And, mm-hmm. you know, she really clearly knew what she was doing. But um, it got to this point where she's, working on the infants and showing us like how you would maybe do like um what you would do if they were choking or having a respiratory issue and which is hilarious (laughs) which is not hilarious at all but she's holding the the thing and she's like so little stevie here oh no stevie are you okay like in the way she's doing it like very serious yeah and she's just acting the parts but to like to show a very important thing but it just Mm -hmm. tickled me i guess and i started laughing and then unfortunately i was the only one laughing and she she looked up and it wasn't like a oh you're but it was just like and i just was like i'm sorry it's a lot but like the acting's on point you know and there was a little (laughs) chuckle but then it was like this also odd it was just odd and i'm like uh, like if you had been there what, what could i have done in that situation no, oh if I, I was there are you kidding me it would have i would have made it so much worse yeah there like what been would like, have been your next what would have been your next oh How i think would you would have stand, me stood up? up and like slow clapped and just been like bravo bravo <laughs> like be like honestly your teaching your, is amazing but like your teaching uh, is amazing and can, like left a review afterwards that was like her her choking baby cries moved me i am i will I am remember going, them forever they will haunt my nightmares i am going to she's <laughs> going to leave that review because really she did a good job and obviously she yeah. left an impression but also mm-hmm. i was just like i love laughing and i just find so many things to be funny and i was like what i don't know like if i was her Number one, I I don't think I would teach like that. So I guess there's that difference. But I just, I think I would have found myself to be funny in that moment too. <laughs> like that's a good right, I would hope thing so. to do, right? Oh, uh, yes. I don't like, know. Like I would hope, I would hope that other people would like, I don't know, understand that it's just situationally funny and not like feel like you were being laughing critical, at you know what i mean for, yeah like yes. like you're you're teaching the point but also like yes. like she didn't you didn't have to go so hard you know like mm-hmm. done for timmy like i don't know it was so funny though um but also i felt um, just a little bit i'm like i hope i didn't like make her feel like i was <laughs> so that's why i have if to you, leave a good review and be i was like, gonna say you can just leave her a note too that was just like Thank you for making my day. I loved your acting. It was so great. You made the class come alive. It was, it was fantastic. It, like it, it made it fun. At least I wasn't sitting there falling asleep, which is the norm for her, like. Right. And now you will remember everything about how yeah, to save a I choking mean, baby. <laughs> when you take in like you have to do it every two years for like quite some time, it gets pretty yeah pretty repetitive anyway. Pretty so it's nice to you know have it be mixed up. But oh, so anyway, man, you are so right. I can like. You say that, and I can feel the little alcohol <laughs> swab on the mouth, plastic mouth, and like the, I've taken so many CPR classes. Oh, thankfully uh, we didn't have to do the alcohol swab or anything because we all had 
the little masks. And then, uh, granted, we had to turn the masks in, but we each had our own little, like, what is it called? The, the mouthpiece. The, yeah, but there was a term. Either way, obviously, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> you don't know the the uh, proper names of, of choking hazard equipment. Mouth, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Do you um, know what that story reminded me of, though? What? Like, in, I think we were talking earlier, but like, in college, we were at, they call it family home evening because it was an LDS <laughs> community. <laughs> and um, so, could we set family the scene evening, more? Because I just don't feel like people really more. know. Like, like okay. family home evening is something you literally in the Mormon faith, like or the LDS faith. Every Monday night, you're supposed to mm-hmm. Monday, Monday, every, every Monday night. Yeah, every Monday night, you're supposed to get together with your family and have like a little devotional, like a lesson, an activity. A yeah, snack, which really, in and hindsight, song, maybe, like I would love to like recreate with my re-implement. children, but without like the without the emphasis on like God and the teachings of the church, and just mm-hmm. maybe teach the girls. Like be like, hey, th- let's let's like something this that is every- teaching Monday where uh, you can this learn is to teaching change a tire because, or we yeah because learn to make pizza as a family or I something. do think it had value. I do think it had it value. does, but absolutely when you go off to college and you're not with your family when but you're at like a Mormon college, you continue to do family home meeting, but with like your your board family and for us that was everybody that lived in our apartment. Was our apartment complex? Yep. Yeah, and so we'd get together in the with basement everybody of the apartments. Apartment. Mm-hmm. Or at this instance, it was like a, they would, okay, so Mormon wards are led by bishops. And if you have a student ward, they bring the bishop from another city. like, And always anyway. a pretty well-to-do one. because Usually, usually a well-to-do older gentleman. And so we would, we would go to their house. It was like in this fancy schmancy neighborhood oh and we were God, all there. Yeah. And there was a girl on our ward, and she was so sweet. She would make mm. the best kindergarten teacher on the planet. She like <laughs> natural born kindergarten whole, teacher. Yeah, no, her whole mm. persona was like just sweetness and mm-hmm. genuine, like <laughs> Miss Honey energy. Like very, very almost sweet. Like almost like it had to be a little bit of a facade because you know keep sweet and. She was really yeah. good at not allowing anyone to ever really see her. Yeah. But like, yeah, anyways, that's secretly secretly stuff, so I wanted to kind of see her snap. Like <gasps> I, want, <laughs> I wanted to see her get mad at somebody just to know it was in there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's something. Let's let's release some energy. Mm-hmm. But um no, but it was she was in charge of the musical number and she did there's a song we sing in church as little kids that's called I'm a child of God. I know exactly and what she, you talk about. <laughs> yeah. And she sang it with such vigor and enthusiasm and almost as if it was an interpretive dance. Like, okay. she but just also stood how up. I remember it. You didn't know she was going to sing. Like, no, you didn't. Like, she, I thought she was going to speak. So. <laughs> It's I like thought... it's like one of those things where someone's just talking and all of a sudden breaks into song and a movie or something like and I was going down the street and then I like, like how you say that like that is that's normal to happen in real life, but she was obviously a little theatrical herself. <laughs> she was a little theatrical, but it was her personality and she did so good. But she for did. some reason we didn't know it was gonna happen and it all of a sudden happened. And she just she just saying, I am a child of God. <laughs> and then she looked directly at you and she goes, and he has sent me here. And you lost it. And I was trying so hard. I was trying so hard. Because she was doing so good. She sounded beautiful. Her voice was beautiful. Thing. She it was nothing to do with her. It was the situation. It was, but I it was am the, the worst. Jump, it was the jump scare of humor that was just like <laughs> and so you just like laid down in my lap and I patted your back and I'm like oh she's choking she's choking on her gum like there are so <laughs> many times where I have had to feign choking because like the laugh is just bubbled up in me <laughs> it's like oh it's it's not the worst thing but sometimes it's like the worst thing <laughs> yes. oh, but um that one really it was like <laughs> straight out of a musical and just mm-hmm. so unexpected that I'm like 
how is nobody else laughing? Like, it felt like we were on the set of a sitcom, and that's where the audience is laughing because they see... (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) I think it was the fact that she made eye contact with you and did it, and it's like... Like, she knew... You chose chose the wrong person. Like, (laughs) I'm so sorry. No. You know, and she was probably really trying to, like, convey, like, emotion and really, like, connect with someone. It was just that she had already shocked me you see <laughs> will you reenact it one more time for me will i be an actor one more time for you no no reenact it the way you oh, did before re-enact how it? she was speaking and then just mm-hmm. like oh, it was yeah. so like it, i i i would think out of pocket yeah it was just so unexpected and to have like movement with a song like i'm a child of god mm-hmm. which is like a it's a hymn it's yeah it's a little it's not children's a bop. song usually <laughs> that's you it's usually sung sitting down and very reverently and like but it almost felt like interpretive dancey though it's like i am a child of god it gave me napoleon dynamite yes that's what it gave what? me it was it was giving napoleon uh, dynamite yes. as the kids yes. would say as the giving. kids would say yeah. i don't think we were in the right headspace for for that moment no but which Speaking shows of being me in the a wrong... lot about how I didn't, like, I was never really as into it as most people. I was just kind of there for a good time. Anyways, where are you going? No, you're you're good. No, but it, like, uh, oh, wrong headspace reminds me of another time where we were horrible. Was, <gasps> we're, <laughs> we got gym passes and we're like, let's try out all these classes. And we tried yoga, right Uh which i don't think our brains were quite quiet (laughs) enough to try yoga because it was like they set the peaceful mood and they like it was dark Mm -hmm. the teacher was nine and a half months pregnant and she was like (laughs) she was she was quite pregnant but she was doing all the moves all the moves so super impressive way better than like us i don't think we knew what yoga was all about because i thought it was just like stretches and like yeah. maybe kind of like a pilates class or something like that but it was all the namastes and the different <laughs> words and the things mm-hmm. and we just couldn't stop laughing like she, <laughs> we got so many dirty looks and i think we might have even been asked to leave like oh, yeah and when, remember? when they were right they were right we needed we were, they not were right, the right we should face. not have been there <laughs> we should not have been there and it, it's not like we were laughing out loud but it was just like uh, it just it was it through it was your nose so like no because trying. it was like that like painful laughing when you really like oh like <laughs> i'm gonna won- hold it back <laughs> like- <laughs> i had that another singing one unfortunately happened so anthony's family has always been catholic and for a time he joined the mormon church and he wanted them to come to church because he was going to be speaking this one sunday so it's the first ever time they've come to a mormon church <laughs> And we had also, at the same time, been watching a lot of American Idol with his parents and, you know, critiquing as one does, even though we can't sing one does. It's like... (laughs) We've been trained. We've been trained. (laughs) And this poor girl gets up. And honestly, like, to this day, like, I don't know why they gave her this particular platform. They could have had her sing in primary or something. Like, they didn't need to do this to her. Um, But it was... It was like, it was really hard to listen to. And especially given that we had just been watching that. And I, I think I just heard like heard Simon's voice in my head and like said like a funny little aside or whatever, but me and my mother-in-law like just started losing it. And I ended up with my head between my knees, like having a coughing fit again. And she was the one (laughs) patting my back and she was, I was like, you I could feel so her shaking sorry. just a little bit. I know, but I was like, of course, of course, this is when the first, because I was still like kind of, you know, believing member. So I was like, how awful. And then the fact that I had a, like a laughing fit of like, because this, this poor girl, I hope, I hope that because it, it wasn't like I was like, <laughs> but it was just like the whole just, I don't know. We had been to some of their services and it was very like nice and, you know, pleasant. And this was like. Yeah. I've literally never before this or after this heard this type of performance <laughs> the thing because mm-hmm. I feel bad saying she couldn't sing, but like nobody should have told this girl to sing. Like she was she was like tone deaf and it was cracking and I'm like she might have been like I'm like 
she's special needs and I just don't know it because like like I don't know. I just I'm a fucking asshole, Em. I'm an asshole. No. These are questions that people <laughs> ask themselves. Like I don't think it makes you an asshole. It's like, well Well, and it catches me like no. like I don't mind if you sing along with things that you suck at singing. I do that too. It's when I'm supposed to sit there and like listen to you sing this like when it's normally like a spiritual or something thing and i'm on american idol at that moment because it sounds like one of the people they put on there just to make a mockery of like that's what it sounded like and it was like just like with american idol when i'd be like why are they doing this to people like just to laugh like because you know that that's what people are doing afterward is kind of laughing at it why are you putting this girl on the stage to do this why are you encouraging that they can have a dream and yeah. a desire to do something without having to i don't know i don't know well I'm it's like asshole. okay no it reminds me a little bit of did you see northwest kim kardashian's kid doing the lion king uh -uh. Oh, no. i'll have to send it to you because yeah. that kind of makes me feel like an an asshole as well but <laughs> at the same time it brings up a good point because they were doing this big 25 30 25 year anniversary of the lion king and uh -huh. they put on this massive production and if you go and you watch clips from it they have like the old cast singing bits that were just really well produced mm -hmm. and you had like just incredible singers and incredible actors and even the background people people were so well trained and they were just amazing the costuming was fantastic and um they had tryouts for the young Simba singing, I just can't wait to be king, right? Mm -hmm. And they had a bunch of kids try out, really, really good kids. And then all of a sudden on the last tryout, Kim Kardashian comes in, talks to somebody, and all of a sudden Northwest is, is Simba. And she gets in there and she puts on a really solid third grade performance of the lion king and she brings her own costume and it's nowhere near the same caliber as everybody else's and it's like it's like a sweatsuit with some puffs of fur and she sings like a normal third grader would but when you got this huge production of everybody else who was fantastic it's like that's mean to do to your that to, to northwest yeah. horrible to do to her as a parent and it just like you don't want to be critical of a little kid, but that's not what this called for. This is wrong yeah, situation. And there are so many people who are working for things like that. So to put her in that position, yeah. is well, they yeah. they showed the um, the auditions of the kids that really did audition and make it to the end, and they were so good. Like, of course, yeah, they would blow most people out of the water. They're just so 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 good. So. Anyway, it just like put it highlighted that it is who you know and not how good you are. Yeah, and time. like how some parents have little rose colored glasses on, and you know, mm -hmm. I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, my kid is the best ever. You know what I mean? And me too, me too, it's, for sure. It's good to get outside opinions. But I also well. am realistic but, with them. Like when mm -hmm. they have sung and like, like. Bella, I think she, I think both my girls actually do have very pleasant voices, but e yeah. like when they've sang, if they've like asked me, like, how did that sound or something like that? I'm mm -hmm. like, like, it sounded good to my ear. I'm like, but if you really wanted to like learn or anything, like we can have you, we can try to find you voice lessons or something. Cause I, I understand that like they're actually, you have to practice to be good and not everybody yeah. has the ability. So like, why don't I let somebody else teach you and tell you? There's also like yeah. YouTube videos and stuff because I know um, the girls Let's train that up, man. Some of that, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that we have rose-colored glasses for sure, but yeah. like, <laughs> um, well. uh, back to another time I was an asshole though. Um, <laughs> this episode is called "Not Am I the Asshole?" It's called "We Are the Asshole." Another time, yeah. <laughs> another we are time the I was an asshole. <laughs> or but also laughing is really so, fun and I, it is one of my favorite things to do uh, is to laugh super hard it's just unfortunate that sometimes it happens well and sometimes you just misread the room too like i was at a relative's orchestra concert uh -huh. and they were they were just starting out i love 
like watching little kids play. I don't care if they're screechy. I don't care anything because I'm like, good for you. Pick it up. You go. Yeah, like the confidence awesome. to do it is admirable. The just the fact that they're yes. doing it. Yeah. Yes. So, um, okay. How do I describe this? So it was an orchestra concert of probably like fifth graders, right? Okay. And so they all played the violin or the viola, just those two. And um, they were going through the Suzuki method, which is just a method of, of playing. And so for the violin and the viola, they play the same songs, but they're in different keys, like, because they have different strings. They're the same. Mm -hmm. It's like the same, you're doing the same thing, but it's totally different notes. Mm -hmm. And so what this teacher did was he brought all the violins and the violas up at the same time, and they all played the same song as they had learned it, but they were playing different notes. So it was like off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for some reason I misread what they were doing and I thought it was supposed to be like funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Hey, and so <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. So they start playing and being the person I am, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> it was just loud and short. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, shoot. Like, <laughs> somebody's kid just did that. That's weird. Because for you, but it's like, so obvious probably because you played violin and for a long time uh, and very well. Yeah. And I just something about the way they described it beforehand. <laughs> and then they did it. I thought it was supposed to be like, like they were making a joke about yeah. this is how your kids are going to sound. Like, <laughs> and then they did it. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. That one's on me. Like, so inappropriate. Yes. Oh. Asshole. Not really because it wasn't the intent. I wasn't making fun of anybody. Assholes. It was just unintentional, unintentional assholes. Unintentional assholes. Mm. Um, that is true. Well, sometimes it, I'm not even an asshole, though, when I laugh when it's inappropriate. It just kind of ruins, like, the, the, uh, <laughs> the ambiance. So, yeah. So, like, for example, I was going to tell you about this anyway. So, um, for my and Anthony's 20 year wedding anniversary. Um, yeah. Happy and, anniversary. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we just had a night where the girls were all elsewhere. And so we were going to hang out at the house and I had planned to do like some sexy photos and I was going to have him like help me. So he's going to like, you know, paint me and then we'll do them or whatever. And I thought that it was going to be sexy, <laughs> but I started with the top one. <laughs> <laughs> which was a bad idea too because i just should start with the bottom because <laughs> i did one like, would that have helped one. really would it yeah. have helped <laughs> no, no i don't know but right yeah. right after we did it and pulled it back i saw an eight so i was just like... <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't stop laughing and anthony's just like what the like what is wrong with you and i never was i think ever able to like fully explain to him why it was so funny to me like i don't even know but it just it just it wasn't sexy at all to me in although, that moment although i know it was sexy but also that was just so funny and then when we did the butt one like it was just awkward because you know i'm in my 40s he's in his 40s and as he was trying to help me down i totally fell so the butt print is like super authentic <laughs> And then I got stuck on the ground laughing. So I've never laughed so hard in my life. So I wasn't sure if I would say maybe if you're going to do the sexy paintings, do them for your husband and then give them to him instead of doing it. Because, But also the the laughing part was really, really I fun. I think that's the best part. And it that's didn't stop us part. from having, you know, like sexy time. And then we like watched Bridgerton and ate food and it was fucking awesome. It was awesome. But there you go. Either way. Perfect. Uh, I, I love that. I'm going to have to try that now. <laughs> I'll send you my pictures. The pictures will be okay. on our non-existent Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just our text thread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'm, I'll send them to you mm -hmm. though. It was really fun. And then I like, I uh, I kind of accented the the top one with like some, you know, to like accentuate the waist and the hips and stuff. I gave it like some some dashes or whatever. So I think it, and Anthony's, he's like, I like them. They go fine. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I just could not stop laughing. And it was so funny, but it ended up being so fun. But I was like, mm, well, think about the alternative. Why can't you just be, what why you... can't you, well, I no. could have just been sexy or something and like, mm, dun, 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 dun. Mm, you know, but instead yeah. I was like, I you could have, but I think laughter makes it 10 times better. It, it really was really fun. Kind of stuff. Like, 
you just have to. And if you want it to just be sexy, maybe do it for him beforehand. <laughs> Just kidding. Or maybe just be more of a grown up than I am. No, because think about it. You do it. Okay. You do it all sexy. You do it Uh like, right. And you present it to him. You're still laughing in that moment. You're still like, this is me. Guess what I did for you. There's some like, there's some uh, sound effects going on with your mouth. There's like, (laughs) oh yeah, exaggeration. Like, I don't, I don't know that I'm the type that could just own it and be like, no, baby. No, this is going above our was, bed. But it was mm. really fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> but maybe it is it's, going above the bed. And it was an experience. Um, it heck was fun. yes. But it's the it's the laughing part that's super fun. I'm yeah. I think you've inspired me. I think we're gonna have to try that. Do it. Do it. We'll just go put some like paper, like butcher paper down at the shop and like make all sorts of oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh uh <laughs> I'm gonna see. Just, just roll around on butcher paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paint and, paint and paper. The ones I did, have you seen the one where it's like you, your butt and like a foot and a leg out and like your handprint so you could see like you, that's the bottom part. Oh. It's like yeah. that. And then the Okay, top you'll have one. to give me some like tips and tricks on these well, things. Well, obviously I don't have any. I failed in all accounts except for that they did happen. They and did. Anthony likes them and I like them and he was like, he was like the fact that you kind of fell like it, it shows like the knee was supposed to be up anyways. It works. It works. I'm like, I, I, don't know, I don't know if trying to make me feel good about yes, myself, but either way, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I think the whole thing went off perfectly, it sounds like. <laughs> I mean, perfectly. it did, it did. But also, like, I literally have not laughed that hard, maybe ever. Or I'm just getting old and it's affecting me different. But, like, I laughed so hard, I had just, like, tears and a headache. <laughs> and I <was> just, <laughs> like, I could not compose myself. <laughs> For for quite some time. And then I Those think he laughs. was laughing at just how hard I was laughing. And then he couldn't stop. And it was really fun. It was really fun. Oh, that's so good. I love that a lot. All right. So what other hey, times thank have you we for been being assholes? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> or laughed at the wrong times. Okay, I can tell you another time that we were like... One of the times <laughs> where, like, me and my siblings, there was just way too much laughter going on, given the circumstances. So we were at my grandpa's funeral. <laughs> and... <laughs> As all good funny stories start. Yeah, well, I mean, my mom and her twin sister put together, like, a thing to their dad. And it was basically, like, a calling out and, like, trash. I don't know. It was, like, very factual about like this is just who you know uh, i don't know it was so there was no heart and it was they wanted to be authentic i I, well they just i just the fact that they weren't allowed to have feelings so there was no feeling in it It was just like the facts about this human who wasn't the greatest (laughs) jim got his vaccinations at age 50 yeah it was just but it felt so so like that in and of itself had us all just kind of like (laughs) laughing at like just the awkwardness of it like it was it was funny to us. We just laughed. I can picture then, you and Laura and Thomas just like yeah, side eyeing yeah. each other. Oh my god! And I think that is the I sent I sent Matthew or maybe a few other people. I sent the the meme. We really put the fun in funeral. <laughs> I always used to say we put the fun in dysfunctional, but I think yeah. that's funny. <laughs> well, I found the funeral. meme. I didn't make it. I just happened to find it because I was looking for a funny funeral meme, as one does. <laughs> As one does. I love oh funny God. funeral stuff. Like I hope okay, my funeral. There are funerals. Funny. There are funerals that's not appropriate for, and that's okay. Yeah. I think I can I can handle that. Mm-hmm. But I saw a little handouts for a funeral that had little Ouija boards on them, and it said, "Let's keep in touch." <laughs> I love. I it. love that. Like just... yes, I have already told my family that like I would like them to have a, like a party in my honor. Like have fun. That's show so pictures because I love I know but I love taking pictures and I take pictures of all kinds of stuff so laugh because I would want you to laugh be sad because I'm gonna miss you too but like laugh also, too it's okay I would want you like to have a party in my honor because I love to throw a party and don't hold back the laughter and, because yeah and then keep doing it and keep pictures of me there and and if you know if I can I'll visit if I can't at least you're doing something fun and positive for yourself Exactly. And because my mind wanders, 
and is off on a total other topic. Nice. I just noticed that I have a really like narrow tan line right here. And I like anyways. don't see it. So, okay, good. Narrow tan line from what? Well, from the 4th of July, we went to uh, this place with giant water slides, not water slides, um, slip and slides, like football field length slip and slides. They're friggin' nice. awesome. Where's this? But somewhere they, in Idaho? it's, yeah. It's just somebody's house down the road, but because they oh. they are LDS, one of the rules is like no bikinis and stuff. So I was wearing a tank top over mine, and so I have tank top slash bikini together, and there was only like this much showing. Oh, and got you. you I got, got the interesting little lines. Yeah, I got the landing I... strip of tan. <laughs> well, it doesn't look weird or anything. So well, good, good. But I but I know it does nothing to the funeral. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, but yeah we're we're easily distracted squirrel squirrel which is why Indeed. we didn't do the 1984 thing today because i was too squirrel with that book it had me all over the place and it still I kind did of does good. i did you um i do i love reading me too and i get i get into books and I okay I get one track minded on books so once i start a book i have to finish it mm -hmm. but i was ruined by seminary because um so seminary was a class we took in high school that was just religious based so because we time. release time seminary so you go and you learn the scriptures and things like that and one of the things you had to do was you had to read like a chapter of scriptures every night and so i would put mine off until i went to bed and so i'd read right before bed and I'd get like halfway through and I would fall asleep. And pretty soon it was like a Pavlov's dog thing where it's like I would start reading and it would just put me to sleep. Like, anyway, I could not make it through a whole chapter um, without falling asleep all through college. It was the worst. And anyway, that still still affects me still to this thing. day. Yeah, that's uh... like I'll start reading and just. Well, I mean, it makes sense that that one. Put you to sleep though. I always had a hard time with the scriptures because it wasn't like just following in a story. It was like a bunch of words for the sake of fucking words. It felt like, especially That's when you're reading like he begot him begot him she begot you know, and you're just like oh you're my god, god. Jacob, Jacob begot Homer, and one <laughs> auntie of silver is worth five <laughs> shekels of lead. Or it's like, <laughs> and then and all one hundred percent in. Mormon Emily was trying to find meaning in every scripture. Like, okay, what does this one mean for me? Like, whoosh. and anyway, I think um, I may have dived a little too deep into. Yeah, some of yeah. Those. You gotta, you gotta um, find a book that like is exciting enough to keep you awake. Maybe. Well, I like 1984. It's a really good book, and I think it is exciting enough to keep me awake. It's just, I think I have like almost a borderline narcolepsy because maybe. I just. Like, uh, my sister was here not too long ago, and I was talking to her. Like, we mm -hmm. stayed up talking, and my brain, it's not like I would fall asleep. It's like my brain would shut off, and, like, I would come to, and I'm like, oh, crap. Like, I've just had three conversations with you that weren't real. <laughs> like, I, I think I need to go to bed. Like, I would, I would have full-on conversations with her, and I would just open my eyes, and she's looking at me, and she's like, you did it again. And I'm like, oh, no anyway yeah and when you're tired like tested. you're <laughs> you when you're tired you're so tired you just yeah can't. <laughs> oh, yeah i forgot you know this thing already <laughs> rachel don't let me fall asleep on the couch don't let me fall asleep on the couch <laughs> don't fall asleep on the couch i can't i, I can't do it. leave me alone leave me. it physically hurts. <laughs> it hurts i can't get up I just don't Anyways, want to. Oh, that's funny. Well, yep. I really, I'm really like 1984 too. Um, I just, like I said, it's like it, it gets me thinking a little too much somehow. Like I can't. And plus, you know, Elena will run in or this or that. There's just too many interruptions. I need to like take it with me when I'm doing some sort of drop off or pick up, and I'm in the car alone, and and I can have no distractions and just finish it. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm still in part one and it's reminding me of North Korea. So I keep going back and forth from like uh, the interview with, mm -mm -mm, I forget her name. 
Oh, the the Mark. refugee from North Korea that did the mm-hmm. podcast on Joe Rogan. I can't remember her name either. Yeah, she's she's done Young Me. Yen Me. Yen Me. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I've been drawing a lot of parallels there, but I will I will make notes and we will Yay. talk and it will be great. It but in the meantime, be. I will try really hard not to be an asshole and laugh at <laughs> things that should not be laughed at. Oh, but I also a lot to be to an adult and find things to be funny because I do think that like um a little bit in this day and age like I am all for all things progressive but I am not for not being able to laugh at things either you know what I mean like I get taking people's feelings into account and I think we should do that we also have to be able to find humor in things even dark humor because like God, what the fuck is life without humor? Like for me, it, that is that is life, like laughing and yeah. Well, and the thing that I don't want to do is I remember being a little kid, I was probably like 8, and my family was incredibly musical, right? Yes. So we were constantly yes. singing, we were constantly playing the piano. <laughs> we it didn't matter if we were not good, we would just like belt things out you at the top of our You guys were all good. They were like but... a, a... Uh, there were, you know, ebbs and flows of that. We were good at some things, like, didn't matter if we weren't. Um, but I remember I was singing, thing. it was either, like, Tomorrow from Annie or, like, the song from Sleeping Beauty where she's like, I know you, I walked with you. Anyway, and I was singing at the top of my lungs. I was just, like, letting it out. And when I stopped, I heard a noise, like a little giggle or whatever. And I looked out the window and I had two friends that had come over to like play and they were just sitting on my porch and they were dying. (laughs) They were like, just like, it was, and I was so embarrassed that I was. Yeah, but that didn't mean you were bad at all. That's so No, it didn't. But I was just like, ah, crap, somebody heard me. And Anyway, that that got me and I was like, oh, I can't sing in front of people for a while now. And I like would think about that when I was belting things out. So I don't want to do that for somebody no, else. Oh, yes. Like I, I definitely want to make sure that people don't think that I'm laughing at them. Yeah. But sometimes you you can't help it. Like <laughs> if it if it comes, you can try and it's just going to like snort out your nose mm. and your body shakes and you're going to like puke. But <laughs> <laughs> I would be a horrible uh, actor. I would be a horrible actor. The bloopers on anything I acted in would just mm-hmm. be me dying and other people looking at me like, again, All that would exist really? for bloopers and a failed <laughs> project. We tried. <laughs> They're like, this is Schindler's List. Why oh, are you having trouble? Like, <laughs> like, I, the mustache is tickling, okay? <laughs> exactly. It just did you see his face? Did you see his face? Like, <laughs> I would be awful. I would be awful. Yeah. Okay. But, and I guess yeah. that's why I don't act. <laughs> Ditto. Oh my god. I try. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually something me and my sisters still laugh about, like a ridiculous amount. Like we did, like in junior high, elementary, like early elementary. I don't know if you remember. I probably told you we did just a little bit of like. Where we were like extras. Oh yeah. And we so we mm-hmm. were like extras on Touch by an Angel and, and stuff like that. And then my mom did put us in this little kind of acting class. Cause I did like to, you know, put myself out there and, and be loud and stuff. So she wasn't wrong to like be going this direction. But it oh, was yeah. just that was... it was just the scripted acting that it just was uh-huh. too unnatural for me. Like I had a hard time like I could get into characters that I created and whatever and be silly and weird and dress up, but somebody else's like character or, you know, like it just, I could never make it real. And it always made me laugh, unfortunately. And all I remember is we literally, we only went a few times because we couldn't get through the, like just introducing yourself at a casting call because Uh the, the teacher's name, I think it was Linda Barney. And the the company was called Lasting Impressions because me and my sisters would still occasionally just go <laughs> be like, Linda Barney, Lasting Impressions. <laughs> like she would, that was how like she was trying to teach us to like so that we could so then we'd have to do our Rachel Rozier, Lasting Rachel Impressions. Rozier. And I could I was just like oh my god like I like 
Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, let's try it again. All I needed to do was say my name and the thing, but she was making it so overly dramatic that like I was trying to emulate, I guess, what she was doing. I don't know, but it was just the worst. <laughs> like, um, I, I had you know, for a fact, a fact, I would suck at acting, but I could do improv. I think. <laughs> could do improv. Yes, or, you know, it doesn't have, just that would be fun. At least I think. Um, I took singing lessons one time. Yeah. And the lady was trying to teach me how to like sing with the proper muscles and things. <laughs> and she's like, I was getting it wrong. She's like, no, no, no. You, she's like, try this. And she takes my hand and she like shoves it into her stomach, like through all layers of fat into the muscle or whatever. And she was singing right into my face. <laughs> oh my and God. I'm like, I will never be a good singer. I can't do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> How did you not I'm not laugh? serious enough for this. I can't. I can't. And so, and she was a really good singer and like, yeah. she would have some songs on the radio. And so we, whenever me and my sister heard her sing, we're just like, <laughs> Some yeah. people, I mean, it does take putting yourself in very like silly places, I guess, to be able to do those things. And that's, I guess, why I am not. And if I was serious. That would have helped, and I would have been like, "Oh, those muscles." <laughs> nope. I remember you trying to teach me what I don't know if it was that singing teacher or a different one, where you you had to yell like you were a little girl about the Barbie. Uh huh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that's my Barbie. <laughs> hey, that's my Barbie. Yeah. Like you were a because when you sing, you have to use different like, what's the word? Not dialect. I'm missing the word. But anyway, instead of saying like, hey, that's my Barbie, you would say, hey, that's my Barbie. Like when you sing. And I was like, okay, that's great. I'll be, do <laughs> I will, heard, I will be doing I, that. I heard a thing about like Justin Timberlake with the it's going to be me thing being May, <laughs> yeah. that that was actually and how they I'm had it, that they were in a different country river and they liked the way that sounded like it was the word me but in singing it they yeah. actually did have him sing it's gonna be May, and then <laughs> now this many memes later it's stuck yeah and the song would not be the same without it yeah i mean can you picture, every it's May, gonna be me yeah <laughs> it's not the same it's not the same, same. Mm. Mm. See, okay. so maybe she was onto something. That is my baby. <laughs> Do you think of any other times? I mean, there were so many times where we just laughed like so hard, but I, I don't remember why we were laughing all the times we laughed. I just remember doing it a lot. Oh man. Like we, my... I think that's like all we did. I, yeah. I can't remember it. We never really got in any fights. We never had any drama. We just laughed at everything. That's pretty much still life. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think like yeah. at work sometimes I am laughing at things that I know people are like like cuz they'll be having maybe disputes or things like that and I'll be laughing at like this is so stupid. Oh, that's like, is... that's the hard thing when people take themselves way too seriously and you're like and I'm like I get like... that I don't have to like live in this <laughs> but like hear me out. <laughs> this is stupid. What if? Yeah. <laughs> I even do that with my kids' fights sometimes. I'm just yeah. like, let's take a step back and look at what we're really fine about here. And maybe we can all have a good laugh because that's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't work when you're mad. It's life, weird. Life is good when you laugh, I think. I <laughs> and think honestly, so. you know, those things where it says like, <laughs> they just like laugh until they they will laugh or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, if you we, can't laugh, they just, like, force it. Did I ever play that game with you where we okay. would, like, be in a circle and you would lay your head on somebody else's stomach and then they'd lay <laughs> their head on somebody else's stomach and you would just say, ha, like, <laughs> like, you laugh and it would make the person whose head is laying on you laugh, which would, like, start a chain reaction. And, like, We've pretty never soon you're played, all just dying. But we're gonna, uh, yes, we're going to play this. Should. It's it's funny because you just feel stupid at first and then someone's like <laughs> and it just shakes your head anyway yeah it sounds fun anything for a do laugh. It. there we go anything for a laugh. oh god all right well well there you go fun. Yeah, there you have it <laughs> laughing is fun it makes everything better even funerals <laughs> and also 
I'm kind of an asshole. Just kidding. I, I, we, we may have to work on our maturity a little bit. I don't know. But... Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. I, I, but I, like, I don't intend to be an asshole, but I know that people are going to, like, perceive, just like you said, those people were laughing and it made you feel like a certain way about things. Yeah, I wish, you wanna I wish that. that people could, and I have to remind myself this, too, just remember how little other people are thinking about you. Like when they're laughing at yeah. some, you know, like that laugh is not, I don't know. It's not, it's not you. you per se. It's not, not, not laughing at who you are at your core. No, it's it's, it's situational and it's just people are going to have reactions and we can't be so reactive to other people's reactions. Yeah. And I think that comes with experience too. I remember my brothers, yeah. I was trying to smile like beautifully in a picture when I was like 11 <laughs> and they, my older brother's found it and they were dying laughing <laughs> and they were just like what well, is and so they would like copy my smile every now and then like and <laughs> now looking back I'm like for you it was so right and I felt I'm like oh, I feel so stupid and now I'm like dude that was a dumb look on my face and it's hilarious and like yeah, yeah. mocking me <laughs> like my soul they were just like you made a dumb face in that picture. <laughs> that exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, don't know. So, I think my pretty my girls are pretty good at um at laughing at themselves too. So hopefully your girls we're... have well honed senses of humor. So. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty um witty. If I do say so myself. <laughs> they get me pretty often. Yes, I, I'm. When we were talking about the the putting the heads on stomach thing, I was thinking I'm gonna have to do this with them, like maybe oh, as, yes. maybe as a family we'll have to do like <laughs> for family home evening. You could do it for oh family home evening. Yes, see how hey, we brought it full circle. Will, will you do family home evening with me? Like your family, do that. We'll do it. Okay. Set up a tripod with a camera and do this stupid thing, and then we'll send it to each other so we can laugh at each other's laughing. Okay. And but mine will probably just be me laughing while everyone else is like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll have more fun with it than you think. Oh, no, they will. It'll be good. Pinky swear, you're going to do that? Ooh. It's going to happen. Swear, I, got to do I it. know. I know that Um. Uh. I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> I know <laughs> that not all your kids are home, but whoever is home. And they're not. It's it's been weird lately. Like, yeah. I've got one kid at band camp and the other one's working. So it's like I only have two small children. And it's yeah, different. Yeah, I got Bella at band camp right now too, and then small child and middle child. So here's um, but Monday night, maybe everybody could be home. It has to happen. It has to happen. It doesn't have family to happen on Monday, evening. but like, yeah, let's we'll yes, call it, it family home evening. But it doesn't have to be Monday because we can, you know, we're hey. adults. We make the rules, like that. Our book report isn't due till next week. You know what I should do is like Zoom call my daughter in and just like lay her down on somebody's stomach. And, like, <laughs> do it do it all right well let's see what we're at oh yeah we're 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 good uh we've been doing this for like an hour so we probably should you know okay stop. we should we should wrap it up yeah we should wrap it up but this was okay. a lot of fun thank you it was a lot of laughs fun. and such thank and you for, for the laughs and not just today for and like kind lifetime. of being like yeah and being enough like me that you can see the humor <laughs> in these things indeed Indeed. I think everybody needs somebody they can laugh with. That's yes. Yeah. Yeah. Linda yeah. Barney. I was gonna just launch lasting Linda. impressions. Linda Barney. Lasting impressions. Sorry, Linda. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> she made a lasting impression. She did. I could write her whole eulogy off of that one thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. I love you. Hey, Lila. Love you too. Lila. See you next week. Or, you See know, you later. Okay. Yeah, Bye. All, all the time. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Subscribe. I'll do you. Subscribe. <laughs> Just a subscribe up there. Okay. Like the button. Okay.